It's Superbike Smackdown Track Edition time, and we're here with the 2011 Kawasaki Ninja ZX-10R. Let's see how it stacks up. Over the years, the ZX-10 has developed a reputation for the concentrated top-end performance of its 998cc inline-4, which also happens to be harnessed in one of the more racy-feeling chassis of the class. This year, Kawasaki is the only brand to offer a fully redesigned motorcycle for our 2011 Smackdown. This motorcycle was probably the biggest question mark for the test. It worked real good at Road Atlanta during our first ride. But here at Chuck Walla, where it's tighter and there's not a lot of straightaways in places to stretch its leg, I think it hurt the ZX-10R. Um, the one thing I know about this motorcycle is it's probably the fastest steering. From straight up and down, dipping in the corner, it just falls into the corner so quickly. It's almost borderline too quickly. It takes a little bit of time to get used to how fast it falls into the corner. Uh, pretty impressed. Love the ergonomics of it. Uh, the way you sit on it, it, it feels like a 600. And I'm a little bit taller being 5'11 compared to some of the guys. And uh, I fit on it really good, um, but it does feel small. And I think it's a big advantage in the tighter corners when you got to flick the bike right to left, left to right. It, it was really easy to, to just get it done. Also notice how phenomenal like the rear end of the motorcycle is. That bike, you can just like slam on the throttle while you exit the corner. And it just, it, it gives you so much feedback of what's happening at that rear tire that gives you a lot of confidence to get on the gas earlier than you would on some of the other bikes. Uh, it's my first time seeing the bike really, first time sitting on the bike. And the thing that's cool about the new bikes is there's always something new that you haven't seen really. And the thing definitely has the coolest dashboard I've ever seen. A lot of hype this year for it. Uh, Cowie's been pretty, uh, pretty jazzed about their new, their new leader bike, open bike. And, um, you know, so far it seems to impress everybody here at the test. Everybody's been really impressed with the way the power is. The electronics are, are crazy on it. Phenomenal um, electronics. Handling seems to be uh, on par. You know, it's, you know, not quite up with the other ones, but I think uh, with some time, I think everyone's going to start to like that one a bit more. While we weren't impressed with the low or mid-range performance from its engine, the Kawasaki's agreeable chassis and strong brakes allowed us to record the second fastest lap times in Super Bowl, proving just how well the Ninja works. For now, it's relegated to third place, but if Cowie could infuse just 10% more grunt throughout the power band, they could have a winner on their hands.